we're going to talk about situation equations versus solution equations. Um, they're not the same thing. A situation equation is when we're showing what's actually happening in the problem. Solution equation is what we do to actually get the answer. It's how we arrive at our solution. So if you look at problem number one here, it's the same from the previous video. Stacy invited nine girls and some boys to her party. You could do a math mountain for this. Sixteen kids were invited all together. We had nine girls, and we don't know how many boys, right? Now, when you're trying to solve this problem, it might be easier if you started with a situation equation. It says, Stacy invited nine girls and some boys. Sixteen were invited in all. We know she invited nine girls, and she also invited some boys. We don't know how many boys, so I represent it in my situation equation with a box, the same way as I would here in my math mountain. I do know that there were 16 kids in all. Okay. Now this doesn't really help me to arrive at the answer, it just helps me to see what's going on in the problem. If I know that partner plus partner equals total, I also know that total minus partner will give me the other partner. So this is my situation equation here, but my solution equation might look like this. 16 kids minus the girls will give me the boys. Okay? And I know that that's boys because I labeled it here. So my answer is seven boys. Now, at this point in the year, some kids will actually use this as their solution equation. And that's okay right now when we're using these single digit numbers. But as we move along in the year, we're going to start doing these same kinds of problems with two and three digit numbers. So they won't be able to just do it in their heads like that. So I, I really encourage kids to understand and, and chart out what's going on in the problem here with these situation equations. It's better to go slow and do these kinds of problems well now so that we will have no problem later with the trickier ones. Let's do one more together here. Greta's chicken laid some eggs. How many eggs did we lay? We don't know. Then the chicken laid seven more. Now Greta has 13 eggs. Hmm. Again, I'm labeling in my situation equation here. This doesn't really help me with the answer. It helps me to see what I'm supposed to do. This looks like total plus total equals partner. So again, for my solution equation, I can turn it around. I can do 13 minus the seven more that Greta's chicken laid will tell me how many uh, they laid at the beginning. My question is, how many eggs did the chicken lay at the start? Looks like six. Is it? Jeez Louise. No, one. Yeah, six. Wow. And that's the difference between a situation equation and the solution equation.